That's so good. That's the one that I guessed. <laughs> You know when, you know how they say when you've got your computer open your camera's always going, that's always someone watching you? It's like the camera's just going. I like that. That's, that's good. Because it's true, isn't it? Yeah. That's... Because then for the next bit when it starts calling, she can look directly at the camera as if she's looking directly at her laptop. Like, oh, there's someone. That's like Ash, Ash said, wardrobe, costume, wig yeah. department, makeup. You've got like... Special um, effects. You, you've got like the backstage team and like even the ones that you don't see on stage. So you've got like swings and like... Um, Covers because like people like well. yeah people like though those people get paid to be there even if we even if they're not on stage. Dodge. I'm just uh, <laughs> I'm just adding um, difficulty. This is level level ten snowman building. Not a snowman. It's not a snowman. Yeah, how tall are you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just sent it, and then it'll like have so much. <laughs> Am I doing it right? <laughs> oh, yeah. For a really blonde finish. Mm -hmm. Should I go that orange? Tangerine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
TikTok sih gimana? No. Just go in the main room. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't it's like really it. open in there. It's just water. It's oh my god. No. All, the, all them pumps are gathered over here. So if you, can you see that there? There's like a, a yeah. sewing machine. Yeah. An old fashioned one. Yeah, can you take can, can you? Take yours. Yes. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Watch out, man. <laughs> I'm vlogging on a train. I'm vlogging on a train. This is weird. So I wanted to do the first half of this video on the train. I was gonna do it on my train that was an hour, but there's loads of people on it and there's only one person in this carriage so so yeah living away from home for three months has been strange we were gonna have our own little christmas and then i was gonna go back so then lockdown was announced and we just kind of were like well we discussed it and he was like you might as well stay so i stayed i learned a lot emotionally and just trivially so i thought i'd do the trivial things in a more fun setting I've literally never vlogged like in public before, this is weird. I learned that online classes suck, there's just something about online classes that I cannot hack. Like, I don't mind it, but I don't love it. Like there's something really odd about doing a dance in your boyfriend's bedroom on a stool. I learned that I'm a pretty good baker. Um, I never really baked from scratch before, but then I started coming to visit my friend, uh, my boyfriend and his housemates and I started bringing them treats as like a thank you. And I've baked some pretty cool things during this lockdown. Also, I apologise if it's really muffled. I'm wearing a mask, you know, gotta be safe. I learned that it's pretty eventful living in a house that backs onto an abandoned drug den. There are so many fire brigade people here. Moving on from that one. I learned that I don't actually hate bonfires. Like I always thought I hated bonfires, but we had quite a few like outside in the back garden and they were actually really nice and like therapeutic, like sat with really nice people listening to really good music. I learned drums. Well, a little bit anyway. <laughs> My boyfriend is insane like i do not know how the hell he puts up with me i will literally fight him for no reason and he's literally trained in jujitsu so he he could kill me does that stop me from trying to kill him no i just don't know how he puts up with my shit okay i'm gonna go now okay now let's get a bit deeper obviously i didn't just learn things on the surface there's a lot that i learned about myself about my boyfriend, about our relationship i learned that i'm better than i thought i would be i've always been terrified to move out because of how I'd be away from home. Although this wasn't moving out, I, I was away from home for a long period of time. And I was away from my mum for a long period of time. And I rely on my mum a lot 
for my mental health. So being away from her has always worried me that I would be bad and I wouldn't be able to handle it. But I wasn't as bad as I thought I would be. I, I, was, I was a lot better and I was like, maybe I could move out. But I did learn that I'm still gonna struggle no matter where I am. That I'm still gonna have challenges that I'm gonna face. And she's not gonna be there all the time. I still struggled and there were some really horrible lows um, that me and my boyfriend both had to endure. It's been hard on both of us and I'm so proud of him for how he's handled it and for how he's coped with it because it's hard. I can't thank him enough for making me feel safe and loved and supported. I learned that I can be independent. I can cook, I can clean, I can do the washing, get groceries. I can do all that stuff. I can be a domestic goddess. <laughs> I learned that I can be a real bitch to live with and I mean like a cow bag I can be horrible and not just when I'm on my period but when my mental health is like going bad I can be horrible I can be cold and isolated towards my boyfriend and I don't know if anybody else in the house noticed it which they probably did so I'm sorry if you're watching this I'm sorry give my boyfriend the cold shoulder even though I really want him to stay and give me cuddles and stuff and that's hard on him and, I, and I'm I I'm working on it because I know it's not fair. Afterwards, I always come to my senses and we ha we talk and then I'm like, I'm sorry, I was such a bitch and you know. But this boy does not stop being the perfect guy. Like ladies, when I tell you he's everything that you like, you want from a guy, he's basically everything you want from a guy, apart from he's not Harry Styles, but we're working on that. I learned that I don't know what the hell I want from my life like I know what my dream is and that is to be an actress on tv in films that's what I want like near future wise I don't have a clue I know I want to move out like that's one thing I learned from all this I know I want to move out I, I would like to live with my boyfriend I would like to think that it's going to last long enough for us to like get a place together it's a little bit stressful because I'm getting to the point in, a, in like next year when I need to start thinking about this kind of stuff and I, I'm like what my brain I learned that I can do it I'm stronger than I thought I was. It's been a really good experience and I really, really enjoyed it. Oh, wait, what? No. No, this isn't gonna end like, oh, it's over. I'm not saying her, I'm going back. I'm basically moving in, <laughs> so.